In this video, I'm going to explore the Gameford Group's proposal to build a new tower within Newcastle City Centre. Located next to the Central Motorway and adjacent to what is currently the Newbridge Hotel, lays a site which is bounded also by Newcastle Skywalks. It's a very interesting location as this was originally developed during the creation of the Central Motorway as a brand new city centre hotel only around 50 years ago. And this site's got a bit of interesting planning history because only uh, a few years back, the Gameford Group were able to receive plan permission to build a luxury hotel in this location. This was more of a refurbishment of the existing hotel there and didn't really constitute such a major overhaul as what we're seeing here. Whilst the designs previously approved would have seen increased amount of glazing and its overall appearance changed and fundamentally one of the interesting points of the hotel at the minute is it connects into the Skywalk network so if you watch my Newcastle Skywalks video which will be here the Skywalks actually walk over part of the sort of back of this hotel so this original approved proposal would have seen the removal of this Skywalk network which connects in Newcastle city centre to Manors and New Bridge Street So if we're going to look at the design of this overall hotel, what is now proposed is a 37 storey tower. Now to put that in perspective, Newcastle's current tallest building, Hadrian's Tower, is 27 storeys. So this will be a whole 10 storeys taller than Hadrian's Tower. Now the Game the Group own a number of venues around Newcastle and the North East. If we look at the proposals, what is clear is that the footprint shares a very similar footprint to the existing Newbridge Hotel in places, which is interesting because this in a way almost seems like the existing Newbridge Hotel will still go through the same refurb as previously approved, obviously with some the alteration of a 37 storey tower. My experiences in planning and not sort of structural engineering or foundations, I don't see how without extensive foundation work they'll be able to put this simply on top of the existing Newbridge Hotel. I think it'll be much more likely we'll see a complete demolition and rebuild of the site because even if they built the new bridge hotel with super strong foundations it will never have the sort of foundations deep enough to support such a large tower above now one of the core parts of this render you can see is that this skywalk link this footbridge across the central motorway will be uh, removed again this will mean pedestrians walking from manors and new bridge street will be basically dumped into a motorway slip lane to then have to cross that to enter town which i think if anything any proposal should try and increase the sort of connectivity of this space the central motorway as it is is already such a barrier to pedestrians that further blocking the space up is always an issue now if we see some of the other renders, say for the example of one which I believe is taken from the Northumbria University footbridge, you can really see the height and sort of stepping facade of this, which is shown with greenery on its render. If you ever see a render of a lot of greenery on, it's never going to look as nice as it does, it's always put out to look nicer. But the real thing about me is how blocky this sort of overall design is and how, how not very slender it is. Hadrian's Tower, love it or hate it, its facade and its appearance is nice, it does have um, some detail into it, it does have a slender look to it and it's not such a sort of large mass that this tower is appearing to be. Whilst it steps from this new Bridge Street side towards manors if you were to look at it from the city center side it'd be a complete mass with no steps at all which will make it look very blocky from this angle i imagine this will be visible from a large part of newcastle city center which is a conservation area there is a current trend where towers are cropping up outside of the sort of central conservation area which are of a considerable height say bankhouse tower which you can see and also hadrian's tower which you can see through here now i don't think this is necessarily a bad thing i think newcastle needs to modernize as a city and i think i'm quite a big fan of towers modernize its skyline as in the minute it has a very 1960s based skyline however i think these towers need to be of high quality in terms of materials and design. And I, I don't think these renders are really demonstrating that well of a, such a high quality design for this building. The main issue with this space, I think, is the existing new bridge hotel and this new proposed one turns its back on the central motorway, which I understand it's a, it's a large motorway through the town, but 
really ambition should be of reconnecting Manors and New Bridge Street, which is really should be part of the city centre area. At the minute, the, the barriers to pedestrians to get through the space is numerous already, and this is almost like throwing a 37-storey tower to even prevent pedestrians further. Notable this proposal, they're also going to remove the building bridge across Market Street East which I think is probably the best part of the proposal that are removing this feature. Dams in the city and any new views into the city centre from this way is always appreciated. Uh, no full planning application has actually been submitted on this yet. So these are all just completely renders of uh, sort of to gain or and show what the game for group are trying to do. It's potential that the, the designs will change before planning submission and during planning submission. So we can't say this is going to be the final designs and it's important to take that home. So stay tuned on this. I'll keep updated as more actually happens on this proposal.